Good morning, St. Francis Falcons. Welcome to our morning announcements for the last day of school, Friday, May 15th, 2020. Happy birthday in the coming days to Elizabeth T. and Wyatt M. Other birthdays coming around the rest of the summer. Hopefully you have great celebrations. If you happen to have a birthday in the month of May, June, July, or early August, can't post you all here right now, but hopefully you you are ready for a great celebration. Our word of the week, of course, is resilience. Synonyms are flexibility, pliability, plasticity, elasticity, durability, strength, strength of character, and my new favorite word, bounce back ability. And you've got a challenge your falcon five challenge for the summer those of you in kindergartens kinder those of you in grades kindergarten through third your challenge is to read five new books each month yes read five new books each month maybe you can push hard and get five new books for the rest of the month of may and then june and july and then maybe five books in the month of august as well not sure, but hopefully you can do that and ask your parents to help you read through those and learn, learn, learn how to read and improve your reading skills over the summer. More about how you can do that with our summer reading program in a minute. But I want to be sure grades four through eight are not left out because I want you to read five new books over the summer. Find some books that are challenging to you and read five of them between now and the time we meet again in August. Here's more information on how you can connect with the local public library. Summer Reading 2020, June 1 through August 1st, and I will put a link to this in the YouTube video space below the video where you can find how to log into this. This year, our Summer Reading Program will be online and hosted through an easy-to-use online platform called Beanstack. Parents, you can connect with Mrs. Weber on this. Uh, she's got a, a email address I'll get you as well, and she'll be maybe commenting to you on Blooms and, and kind of pushing this out through Blooms as well so that you and your child can be involved in this. Students, you'll be able to create your own accounts for yourself and your family members and use the Beanstack to track your summer reading progress. If you don't have access to the internet, you can just ask a librarian to enter the information for you. Like I said, connect with Mrs. Weber and she can help you out with that. Each day you can log what you read and collect cool badges, earn rewards, and rack up tickets for weekly prize drawings. If you complete the challenge, keep on going. The more you read, the more you win in more ways than one. Join them this summer for their virtual adventure. And I dare say, students, if you happen to complete this over the summer, and those of you who do great in this, you probably end up with a reward from Mr. Pollard. More than just a small pack of Smarties, I'll have something for you if you do summer reading with the library and you read a lot and improve your reading skills. And since we've got a big amount of days in the summer, I've not just got one Falcon 5 challenge for you, but two. Count them, two Falcon 5 challenges for the summer. Your next one is to write five thank you letters over the summer, starting with a Father's Day thank you. So think about five people you can thank for all the great things they are doing. Maybe, as you see your picture of our cute little rubber duckies down there, maybe you want to write a thank you note to those in the healthcare profession and send it off to Mosaic or to another area, nursing home, or somewhere where you know nurses and doctors uh, could use a little pick-me-up over the summer for uh, what they're doing in our community and maybe send them a thank you note. Parents, you can, of course, help with that so that we as a community can stay falcon strong. Speaking of being strong, we're so glad Father Joe is back with us. He's strong enough to return to the rectory and he wants to remind us and all of our teachers want to remind all of our students what Jesus said to his disciples. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. Amen, amen. I say to you, whoever believes in me, 
will do the works that I do. And these little images down at the bottom of the screen remind us of Jesus' love for all of you children. When he says, let the little children come to me, do not stop them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these children. Jesus loves you so much, he wants you to draw closer to him over the summer, and we pray you can do so every day through your morning prayer, your meal prayers, and your nighttime prayers. Don't forget all those great things to wait, ways to connect with Jesus. And our teachers want to remind you also in these difficult times, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And we, teachers and staff, are so thankful to God for each of our students and families. Thank you for making our family a blessing to God this whole school year. And our eighth grade Falcons, those moving into eighth grade, have some words of advice as well from our Acts of the Apostles this last month. We've been reading about Paul traveling so far for his love of God. His journeys were about spreading the word of God to those who hadn't experienced his love and guidance. So today, according to these eighth graders, we should follow his example, especially as we head out into the world this summer. We should take advantage of every new encounter to spread God's love over the summer. We should interact with friends, both new and old, and share with them the teaching of the Lord that we've learned this year in school. We do not know if everyone understands what God can bring to their lives like he has each one of us. So sharing this with them is part of the journey we are all called to make. Since we didn't have that chance for the clap out in that prayer service, these are the words from our eighth grade to all the rest of our students. And so we say our last Pledge of Allegiance with our hand on our hearts, remembering those medical workers who are so resilient. We say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And our morning prayer begins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our prayer of adoration says, you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. And our concern prayer reminds us, O oh God, bless your people, keep them safe and defend them. May all those putting themselves at risk be reminded that the Lord is with them to guide them and strengthen them. We pray especially for Father Joe, bring him health and healing. In Thanksgiving, we say thank you, Lord, for blessing us with this past school year when we learned how to adore you, to tell you our concerns, to give you thanks, and to explain our sorrow for our sins. Thank you also for guiding Father Joe out of the hospital and back to the rectory where he continues to recuperate. And in sorrow, Lord, we are sorry for those times we've not realized that our faith in you will bring us joy and take away our fears. And we're sorry for those times we did not do the works you expected us to do to bring about the kingdom of your Father here on earth. And we end our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As the rest of these announcements continue, I will walk you through the school webpage where students maybe get a little bit of uh, homesickness. You want to see what all we can learn about the school. And there's some great images and things like that on the web page. So I'll walk you through those in the rest of the announcements. If you want to continue watching it, maybe you want to get back to this or other announcements over the summer. To remember what a great school year we've had. It's truly been a blessing to be a part of all of your lives. And we hope that God will guide you in this summertime and see you back in August. And remember, stay awesome and stay healthy. Hi, guys. Remember when I said on morning announcements that you can find out our school web page online so you can see and interact with our school over the summer, different things? Here is that web page found at stfranstjo.com. 
these are the pictures that kind of cycle through at different times on the main landing page. And then we can scroll down below on that page and learn more about St. Francis. We've got our Facebook feed over here. And we've got my not so great picture there. We've got some comments from other parents there and some other things you can click on here and there. But up at the top, if you want more, you can click on these links. And we got some awesome pictures of some cool second graders there. Scroll down here, you can see some more pictures of our awesome staff. And there's Father Joe and Mrs. Werner and our amazing staff there. And there's some test scores about our awesomeness. And there's some more pictures from our year. And you can take a look at all those things on your own at some time if you want to. And then up here at the top again, how can I enroll with something that maybe other people want to click on? You want to tell your friends and your parents, coworkers, to click on that and see how they can enroll at St. Francis and have an awesome education like you are having. But moving right along, we've got our early childhood center that's highlighted here. We've got an awesome picture and lots of other information here about our early childhood center and our Facebook page from our Fox Wiles Early Childhood Center Facebook page. And we've got some awesome pictures of our ECC kids and kindergartners, some great pictures from this year, and maybe even some from past years. That's our Early Childhood Center. And then we go to Our Values. We click on that. We've got a picture from some former students there, some alums doing great things in high school now. And we've got some of our current friends. Academic excellence is one of the things we are all about at St. Francis. Formed with families, of course. This is a picture from many years ago with some of our friends dressing up in Halloween costumes at the time. And a current picture of Ms. McIntosh in our awesome fourth grade class this year and some connections with our older students and younger students and our innovation using our Chromebooks and such and of course our dedicated parents. So more information there if you want to take a look at our values there. Then you can go over here to Falcon Highlights and you can see more about our school. We've got an awesome picture of our current eighth graders, Father Joe there, their volleyball game day. There's more text there, things to read about our awesomeness in what's called a blog on that page. Then we've got our service to the community page here. We've got a few pictures of different things that we've done in the past and not so distant past. Some of our students, current students, doing things recognized there on that page. And then the rest of these aren't so much for students necessarily, but you can pass this along to other people who want to learn more about us and they can visit us and they can send an email to this email address here and contact us so that we can give them a tour, show them all the great things about St. Francis. So again, that's our webpage, folks, stfrancstjoe.com, and you can learn more about St. Francis by going there and seeing all sorts of great pictures and information about our school. Hopefully you enjoyed this little tour of our webpage and enjoy the rest of your summer.